everyone, it's the Tides Changing here, and welcome to part 19 of Let's Play The Sims 3 Generations. Well, it's the next day, and Tom's is up getting some cereal before he heads off to school. And I think today may also be the day that Lucille has her child, or at least very early in the morning the next day, but uh, it's, it's gonna happen this part, and I'm really hoping she has a girl because, you know, She's only a guy's boy so far, so I think it's about time she had a daughter, you know, I think uh, some of you are really hoping she has a daughter as well. Just because, you know, having old boys gets a little bit boring. Um, why do you, why do you still want to, no, you don't want to swim anymore. Oh, Lucille. Alright, well, uh, let's... Let's have her wake up then. And I don't know why she has swimming stuck in her queue, no. There we go. There we go. Now it got out of there. I couldn't. I couldn't get rid of it at first. Um, but I think the cats are all good with food. Um, we should probably clean that up. Actually, let's just do it the lazy way and just plop it into the can thingy or the trash can. And we shouldn't have to worry about watering our plants though, considering it's pouring down rain outside. But I do think I'll have her take care of her garden a little bit today, since you know she doesn't. She doesn't have any toddlers to take care of, so. That's kind of her main priority in life right now, I guess, until she has her kids. And I probably should look into having her sell her... Yeah, because she's got like 35 tomatoes in here, 26 apples, um, 13 things of lettuce. Um, ooh, he got a... Stanley got a raise. Uh, let's see, how is, how is he doing as far as his career goes? Um, we should probably have you suck up to your boss a little bit more. Um, cause he's creeping up very slowly. I also probably should probably have him hold some meetings. I keep forgetting to do that. But yeah, let's let's go have you take care of your plants there. Which is uh, super super duper exciting to watch. <laughs> and I think he's actually about to be home from work soon. And yeah, because um, did he get up early again? No, no, he. He went to bed late? Why? Oh, yeah, yeah, they got back a little bit late because they were at the pool doing the whole uh, leisure day thing the previous night. And I think they actually had a better leisure day than the one in, like, part 17, you know, because I kind of had to do leisure day again because the game started off in summer, but I think, yeah, it's going to be fall pretty soon. And he got, ooh, he got 1,400-something simoleons today, so he's doing pretty well money-wise. Um, I think I'm going to save up their money, so it's going to be the 70s in part 21. So I think I'll kind of do like a revamping of their house, you know, put some shag carpet in, finish out the basement, um, you know, once they get to that point after this part and the next one. And you should, let's just have you take a nap rather than doing the whole like, completely sleeping thing. Um, and how are you doing with your garden? Um, she's, she's getting there. We'll have her finish getting everything out of her garden there and then, uh, we can have her go and sell all of her crops and, oh, he's still on his way home. Where were... Oh, I guess, yeah, he has, the outer, he has the after school club. It looks like their stairs are flooded. What is what is the cat doing? And uh, I'm just gonna stick that there, stick that there. I love that in The Sims 3 you can do this. Um, but I think, yeah, you know what, let's, let's have you, let's have you invite Lauren Reese over. Yeah, we'll just, we'll just have him invite her over here, do something casual. And I guess she... Alright, cool, she's coming over. I guess I don't think Lucille yet. Lucille didn't get everything, but I guess she kind of had to stop to improve her mood a bit. Uh, but let's get her back out there to take care of things some more. And then we'll wait for Lauren to arrive. No, don't go to bed. That's just lame. And there she is. Why is Start snubbing her your only option? Oh, right, because he's sleeping. Okay, get up. Get up. Okay, and she just kind of came in there. Uh, let's hope he gets up soon. There we go. And let's start this off by just having him flirt with her. So I guess he's he's got a new romantic interest pretty quick. And uh, we should probably have you change out of your pajamas. That's a, that's a little bit embarrassing. And Stanley, Stanley came over just to awkwardly supervise. 
He's just sitting there watching them, making sure they don't do anything too naughty. You know what, let's, uh, let's have them go downstairs. You know what, I think there needs to be like a ratty couch down here and they can just sit down here on the couch and cuddle, you know, away from the parents. So I'm just gonna do that really quick. So let's let's see. Um, hmm. There was this. No, that was late night, not the '70s, '80s, and '90s stuff. Uh, there we go. Let's just stick that in there. That just looks kind of crappy. Like just randomly sitting down here. We get one of the uh, cats to tear it up for that extra worn out feel. Um, let's have him sit, and then he can ask Lauren to join him, and they can just kind of sit there and cuddle away from the watchful eye of their parents, unless his dad decides to creepily come down there and watch and then once he's down there we can just have her join there we go invite to cuddle but yeah i think i'm going to give this house sort of a 70s-ish makeover before part 21 and if i do that would you guys be interested in me making a video of it you know kind of like a sped up you know redecorating type video and let's uh, <laughs> are you serious are you serious stanley <laughs> We try to get away from you, and he just followed us down here. Wow, he he really does not want them to do anything. And how's how's Lucille? Oh, I guess she's kind of she's kind of done with her garden there. Right, let's see if Lucille actually got all of her plants picked, or if she just kind of oh no, it looks like she did everything. So let's see how much stuff she has in her inventory now. And oh, I guess he decided to play in the sprinklers. Um, let's see, fifty-four tomatoes. 49 apples and 24 pieces of lettuce. Okay, that's a that's a good bit right there. So I think after she's done with her shower there, I will have her stop by the grocery store to sell all that. So we'll just have her. Oh wow, she has $886 worth of vegetables. So that'll put her up through the ranks of her uh, self-employed gardener career quite a bit because she's still in the first one, and she only has to get 30 to be promoted. So she'll probably get up to a, like rank four or five or something like that. Like she's just gonna shoot up really quick. Um, but yeah, let's just let's just go back to the home view here and continue on with Thomas and his girl. Not girlfriend yet, but hopefully soon to be, uh, whose dad just kind of came in and started talking to. Um, you you need something. Let's just let's just have you go watch TV so you can just you can just leave him alone. And then you can just come back down here and let's have you flirt. And oh, he's just uh he's just coming down there in his swimming suits. Okay. Well, that's that'll uh that'll get her attention. I'm just gonna stick the walls up here. Mm. Nice, so she got she's now a master weeder. Uh let's see what rank Oh cool, so she got up to like rank the, like uh, da, 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 rank four, so that gave her that, man, that gave her quite a boost. Definitely got to get on top of selling all of her produce uh, a little bit more. But we'll just have him flirt with her a little bit more before he goes to bed. Let's do pickup line. Let's give her some more flowers. Um, I should have him go on an actual proper date out somewhere instead of just you know hanging out in his basement. But I feel like that's just kind of like a typical teenage thing, you know, hanging out in the basement. Um, I definitely want to finish this out for the 70s, like I said, and just give it a swanky shag carpet panel wall look going on, you know, with some disco balls or something like that. I think that would be pretty cool just to turn into like a neat hangout teen area. So let's, ha let's have him sit here and then have her join. No, um, oh wait, is she leaving? Oh, okay, well then. Never mind that, but I guess that, that date actually went pretty well. I think it, things are going pretty well with this girl, and I don't know, I kind of like her better than uh, than Sonia. I don't know, um, you need to get off the bed so he can sleep, because he is quite tired. Sorry, pumpkin, that's that's not your bed. Pumpkin's just- <laughs> pumpkin's not happy, she's like, Rah! <laughs> Did she just hiss at him? Did she just seriously hiss at him? Wow. Wow, pumpkin. But is everyone... okay, yeah, everyone's getting pretty tired, or either that or they're sleeping. So, I'll just see you guys and, you know, see you guys the next morning. Yeah, I know I said I said I would see you guys the next morning, but, uh, Lucille's actually having her baby right now, so, uh, let's get her to the hospital and hope that this is a girl, because, you know, 
I don't really want another boy, you know. Uh, <laughs> no offense to guys, but she's had three sons now. It's about time she had a daughter, so... Let's just pop in over here and see what she's doing. Alright, so she already arrived. She's making her way in there to have her baby. And I guess, okay, yeah, he's he's out of bed and he's gonna come in soon to be with her as she delivers their child, their fourth child, so she needs to have just one more, and I think I'm gonna have her get pregnant pretty quick, like, uh, I guess probably next part. I'll probably ever get pregnant again next part, or something like that, or the part after that. I don't know, but I, I won't wait as long this time. And, oh no, you gotta be kidding me, it's another boy. <sighs> Okay, her last kid had better be a girl. Oh, uh, what? Wh why does she keep having boys? What is this? Um, but, uh, like I said, I kind of recorded part 18 and 19 back to back, um, because I just wanted to get multiple parts in while I had the time since things are a little bit busy during the week. But I'm just gonna go with the name that you guys previously suggested, uh, which is Michael. And, whoa, what was that? Did I have drive caps lock on? Oh, I do. Okay. <laughs> Oh, it would have been awful if I just hit some- if I hit enter without even think looking at that. <laughs> uh, at least you can- I think you can change names in this game though, so I guess it wouldn't have been all bad. But there we go, we're gonna name him Michael. And ooh, we get to choose both his traits. Uh, let's randomize and see what we get. Nope. Uh, I kinda wanna do Loves the Heat as one because, you know, he's born in the- born at the end of the summer, so... He'll be a very summery baby, and let's do, hmm, let's do perceptive. Yeah, we can do perceptive. I haven't really used that trait in a while. All right, so he's perceptive and he loves the heat. All right, so <laughs> now that she's actually had the baby, I will now actually see you all in the morning because, you know, they're pretty tired and they need to get to bed. So, yeah, I'll see you guys when they're all up. Oh, whoa! <laughs> um... <laughs> uh, so now Bruce just got abducted. Uh... <laughs> so, never mind, like, I just said that I would see you guys the next morning, then right after that I was going back to the house, and then, like, as soon as I hit on pause, Bruce was getting abducted. Um, but hopefully... Um, I guess now I'll see you guys in the morning, um, unless some other odd things come back, happen. Um, I don't know when he's gonna be dropped back off by the aliens, but, uh, <laughs> well, that was interesting then, but, um, let's, let's have her stick him in the crib first, then, so we'll just have her put little Michael in the crib. Oh, there we go. <laughs> Alright, so, okay, now Bruce is back and then the alien's leaving, okay. Okay, I think I think all the uh, pregnant giving births and weird events and everything are over, so... Yeah, I will now see you guys the next morning. Alright, so it is the next morning now. Actually, it turned out Bruce was up, so... Uh, yeah, not a... I guess I kind of played through most of the night then, but uh, he made some crappy burnt waffles and then he didn't like them, so... Now he's making mac and cheese, but uh, let's... Okay, so Lucille's pretty hungry, so is the baby, so we gotta take care of him. Is anyone up other than Bruce? Because Tom's is just taking care of... Or Bruce is just cooking, so after he does that, I guess we'll feed the baby. And oh, it's almost Steven's birthday, so he will be 18 in the next part, I guess. And he screwed the mac and cheese up as well, so now we just got two... Screwed up meals, courtesy, courtesy of Bruce. Uh, <laughs> okay, you you really need to feed the baby after you feed yourself. Actually, you should probably feed the baby before you feed the self. Okay, is anyone else up now? Because he's not really taking care of things. There we go. And, um, ooh, yeah, we should probably pay the bills. Um, we got a doll for Michael. And let's have him snuggle and play with him since he was getting a little bit lonely. And then I think he's all good now, so we can just we can just put him back in there. And then let's stick you in the fridge and stick you in the fridge and then clean out all that bad food. Just clean out all that nasty food. And I think everyone else is just kind of going to take a while to get up because Lucille did have her kid, you know, Lucille did have Michael pretty late.
and Pumpkin vomited once again. Uh, does this have like a thyroid issue or something like that? I don't know. I know when uh, cats get thyroid issues they vomit a lot, but I don't think that uh, that happens in this game. I, I don't know why it seems like some cats in this game I guess are more prone to hairballs than others. But he's not gonna get up. Oh wow, Bruce just booby trapped that sink. You know what, Thomas was supposed to be the pranker. I should have him get on that. I uh, you know, will have... actually let's have Bruce clean that since he's already up. We'll, we'll have you clean that nasty ass toilet. And Thomas, are you gonna stop? Um, we'll just... let's we'll already have you go into the bathroom when you get up. And I think Lucille and Stanley should be getting up soon and oh it's actually Saturday now. And <laughs> I think Steven just got sprayed by the uh, stream of water from Bruce's booby trap. So I guess something I have to do today is have Lucille take care of her uh, garden there when she gets up. So let's have her let's have her get some waffles when she gets up. So you know she's not super duper hungry. And another they they were up they had a late light, night last night. Let's see how's he doing? Uh, he's about to go in his diaper. So we're gonna have someone. Yep, we have to have someone clean his diapers. Uh, Bruce is still the only one up. So let's have him take care of that. Oh, Fluff only caught a chip bag. That's disappointing. Oh, no, 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 no. Bad pumpkin, bad pumpkin. Wait, is there is there Scratcher still intact or do I need to... Oh. That explains a lot. Actually, we should have... Uh, no, he does need to do his homework, though. Oh, isn't that cute? And we need to have you take care of your garden there. Oh, let's turn on the sprinklers. Oh, wait. Are those just- okay, so they're just wilting out dead, fortunately, and then we'll uh, get the- there we go. And then let's have her take care of that. There we go. And she's starting to get some good quality plants too. I was getting some notifications saying that she's growing, uh... Yeah, so she's got some great quality, very nice quality. She's cause, well, she's getting a lot better at gardening. I should ever fertilize these plants though after she gets a bunch, but there's only so much time in the day. And I think I want to have Thomas go on an actual date with Lauren today instead of just, you know, hanging out at their houses. I think it's about that time we did that. So maybe we can have them go to a club even though, um, I guess they can still get drinks from the bar since, uh... Um, I guess they're non-alcoholic. I don't know. <laughs> you still get juice though, so I guess it's like the sim version of alcohol or something like that. Um, but I think Katine still have it. I can't remember. And let's have you feed him and he needs some socializing. So we'll have you play with him and snuggle as well. And I think that's about all I need. So he's almost done with that, so... And it is 6 p.m., so after this I am gonna have him... Wait, how did... Oh, the cat's just... Hmm, I guess there's space for the cat to get up there. Oh, was Stanley taking care of that? Not, um... Wait, is it his birthday? Oh, no, we just stuck him down there. When does... When does... Actually, when does he age up? Oh, right, he was just born. Why would it... Why would it be his birthday? Duh, for some... <laughs> Losing track of time here. Okay, no, you don't- you don't need to do that anymore. I think he's alright. We'll just have you put him back in the crib and then you can ask Lauren out on another date. You know, actually go on town and maybe, you know, you can get his first kiss with her and they can actually make things official. And I think Lucille's still taking- oh, she's watching a bonfire. Okay, that's cool. So I guess they got a- they got a bonfire going on out here. That's cool, they can have a family bonfire, but... Kinda, I want Stanley to, you know, let's, let's have her go on an actual date. So we'll we'll ask her out on a date. And where do we want to go? Uh, let's see, we got the coffee house right there. But I want him to go to an actual club. But they're younger, so I don't really think they're gonna go to want to gonna want to go to anything risky. So let's just have him go to a bar of one's own. There we go. That works. And she should sit. Yep, okay, so it looks like she's good with that, so he should be heading off there soon. So both Thomas and Lauren are here at the 
bar of one's own. Unfortunately, though, his curfew will be over and, you know, his curfew will be in a couple hours, but we can still have him be a little bit dangerous, you know, and stay out late. But, uh, let's, um... Yeah, so I guess now after she chats them, they'll be officially on their date. There we go, alright, so let's just start off with a little bit of flirting and... Let's see, flirtatious joke, happy hours, oh, happy hours over, okay, um... Let's talk about rebelling. <laughs> Yeah, it definitely did not take him long to find another romantic interest there. Um, can I confess his attraction? That I guess that option isn't there yet. Uh, let's do armor, armor, amorous hug, not armor. I was supposed to say armorous. <laughs> do a J. <laughs> I don't know why I just did that. <laughs> Hmm, I wonder what that means. Let's flirt. I don't know if I want to risk the heat of the moment kiss yet. But I think they are, you know, they're kinda they're kinda feeling each other, you know. I think it's um okay, curfew's gonna be over about an hour, so we gotta kinda move quick unless, you know, we just wanna risk him getting caught by the cops, which I might do. I guess she's uh she's telling him some gossip. But you know what? I'm gonna have him go for it. I'm gonna have him do it. Wait, wait, wait. Okay. Come on, come on, go for it. Yes! There we go. <laughs> Looks like Thomas is gonna have another girlfriend. And let's have him hold hands. And ooh, let's ask her to watch the stars. That's always nice and romantic. I think she's really cute. They just look adorable together. So I, don't know, I guess this is kind of a romantic spot there. <laughs> Mm -hmm. Aw, they're just so cute. I kind of think they look cuter together than him and Sonya did. <laughs> oh wow, it's actually past his cure for you. Uh, hopefully he doesn't get... Oh, uh, fight. <laughs> He's got the fight the power of from breaking curfew. <laughs> Yeah, things seem to be going really well with these two. But I think I'm gonna have him stop, you know, have him stop doing that and end the date. Let's see. Oh, he wants to kiss her. Um, I'll have him kiss her and then end the date by proposing going steady. So, you know, seal the deal, get him a girlfriend. Oh, okay. Um, or not. Alright, well, I guess the date ended then. Uh, <laughs> And let me see, let me see how's everyone's mood doing. And actually, let me lower the wall there because I just kind of have that up. But, um, let's see, his mood is. Uh, he's not really getting that tired yet. Um, I guess everyone else. Uh, we can keep going a little longer. Um, Steven's the only one that's really, really pooped at this point, but, uh. We can just. What? Why did you leave? Hmm. Well, I guess she's gonna, he's just gonna sit out here and do his homework then. Actually, let's have him blow some bubbles. Doing homework's lame. Eh, he could do that later. Alright, so she's, well, she's back down there, so let's have him order a tombstone topper. That sounds exciting. Hmm. I'm actually really enjoying this Let's Play a lot more after moving them to Riverview. I don't know, I guess it's just that it just it works so much smoother. I'm not constantly worrying about it crashing. It's just, it's a lot better, you know, I'm, I'm really getting back into this Let's Play. But there's this drink there, so we'll just have him enjoy that, and then after that he should probably get home because he's really pushing his curfew, like, really, are you gonna, are you gonna use the urinal while holding, oh no, he got rid of the drink before using the urinal. Oh no, it's just, what? Wait, what? <laughs> you can do that? You can just stick the drink on top of the urinal like that? Huh, I guess you learn something new every day, but uh, yeah, it looks like this place is closing though, so he's got to get out of there, and 
I mean, everyone else isn't really too, too tired, but, uh, you know, I, I think this is a good place to end this part, so I'm just going to end it here. I hope you all enjoy this part. Thanks for watching, and bye!